Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. We are done week five. And you know what? I've got a confession to make. It was a pretty slow week in World of Warcraft this week. I actually had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. Wednesday, I was at a friend's house all night, so I couldn't really get on to play. Thursday, we had Raid, which we stream every Tuesday and Thursday, and we actually got 17% on Broodkeeper, so we are right there. That, that should die this week. And on Saturday, I spent some time with a friend of mine writing some music, so that was all day. So really didn't leave a lot of time to really jump into the land of World of Warcraft. So my characters, they feel abandoned, and they feel lonely, and I feel terrible. But the reality is that we still actually did do some things on our characters. So for example, if we quickly jump into the Death Knight, we did manage to obviously do our raid. Uh, on Tuesday night, we did the first four. I was benched on the last two. So I didn't, wasn't in for Sikram and Rashanon, but I was streaming that and kind of talking about it in the background. I don't know what next week brings. And then Thursday, we of course had the Broodkeeper prog where we got 17%. But taking a look at the Death Knight, we did get some item level increases over the week. We went from 626. 6.88 last week to 628.19 this week mainly just from item upgrades i basically upgraded anything that i could up to max as long as i had the gilded crest for it i sent everything up to max so most of my gear is at six of six heroic and if it could get there i have some mythic pieces that are only two obviously i don't have the gilded crest to continue upgrading and i kind of waited knowing that the vault is coming around before i continued upgrading any more pieces so he is as far up as he can go without actually getting some more mythic track items so he's really gated at this point depending on what we get out of our vault and what we get out of raid this coming week we will see if i can push his eye level up i feel like i'm really hitting the cap with him right now getting over 630 may be a bit of a challenge that's where we're sitting with the dk in terms of item level if we quickly take a look at his IO, we didn't really do much. Last week we finished at 25, 21 in this week, and we finished week five at 25, 30. So not a massive upgrade. I heavily focused on completing my tens. I only did four tens this week. Again, I just didn't have the time. And unless I was playing with people, I really didn't want to have to pug these 10 keys. The pug scene is very painful right now. Maybe we'll get into that a little later in the video. But so we did a few keys. We got a little bit of IO. We did an 11 mists, which we end up getting eight points for. And we actually two chested a 10 necrotic wake, which gave us one point. That's where our nine points came from this week, and we did do a few other keys as well. All right, so let's jump in and take a look what we get in our vault on the Death Knight. Uh, I believe he will have one Mythic Raid slot, two Heroics, and two of the Mythic Dungeon slots. But all I did, we're opening it in Frostback. Let's take a look at how he is looking today. We have Mythic Track Legs. Crit Verse actually would be good to run these and not run the actual tier because they're haste mastery although tier is very good for frost and then we also have the one-handed axe we have the egg we've got mythic track shoulders as well but we already have them in the tier and then we also have a one hand another one-hander right so we already have two mythic track one-handers um for our frostback so really i think if we take the legs i'm really tempted just like the verse is, is great on these and then really high crit so i'm i am tempted to take these and actually run them as my actual leg piece instead of running the tier and i think this is actually more beneficial so that's what we're going to take on the death knight so I can't upgrade my legs just yet, so we're going to have to get some Gilded Crest, run some 10s on the DK, but we do start with an 11 City of Threads, and I do need this key for IO, so we should be pushing that this week. So that is really it on the death line. Like I said, it wasn't a busy week. Uh, the plan for week six is again, I'm going to try to do more than just my four keys this week on the death line. I'd like to get at least a full vault in Mythic Plus with eight keys completed at 10 or higher. I did post the most recent video for you guys. We uh, The 11 Grim Matola was posted on YouTube. There's a info card at the top right of your screen or in the description down below. I'll actually just link the entire playlist. We have a couple keys in there. We have a Stone Vault and Grim Matola. I might post that 11 Mist. That was a full run because we had some oopsies in the beginning of the key and but then we got sneaky at the end did a skip and actually made it to the boss and kill everything on time so it was a close key but it was completed it wasn't the cleanest just to kind of show you that it's even possible even with some mistakes to still time keys now obviously with the death timer it might have been a little different but we didn't have a lot of deaths which meant that we could actually get through the key and still time it even though it was a little rushed by the end of it i'm really hoping that this week we will also have a mythic brood twister video for you guys on the death night we should be able to complete that we had a 17 percent pull and i really do believe that we'll be able to kill it this week and overall the death night does still feel good 
good in keys. Obviously, as the eye level has gone up, 10s and 11s start to be a little more reasonable. We did run another 12, actually. We did it till completion. Took us about uh, maybe just under an hour, uh, but it was a 12 Grim Atoll. We managed to get through it. I think if we could continuously run with a group and get through these 12 keys, understanding the damage profiles of what adds hit really hard and where to use defensives, how to walk into and pull certain packs, a lot of that will start making sense because it's much different than when you're doing an 11, especially on a Blood Death Knight, because we suffer from Bud DK things. Walking into the pack with no Bone Shield charges and getting melee to death. And this is one of the things Blizzard said they're going to smooth out. That is a lie. Melees hit harder than tank busters, especially if there's multiple adds. And I've had unfortunate occasions where I would walk into a pack with no bone shield charges. That's uh, Marrow Ren once and still fall over before I can even get a, a heart strike out to build any runic power to be able to death strike. So that is a challenge we have, but we did do that 12. We got it to completion. So that is my first completed 12. We ended up getting the rogue friend of ours, the Umbrus Ring that he was after. So I think overall success, it was a good experience. So I really would like to do more of those keys with a group of people. I don't know how that would be in the pug world. I think it would be pretty painful. And most people would just leave because most people are, want to time keys, not show up and practice them, right? But you need the practice to be able to go time the keys anyway. So that is what the Death Knight is going to be looking like for week six. And then moving on, let's jump in and talk about our Vulpirin Protection Warrior. We definitely did a few keys on him. The weekly this week was to complete four heroic or mythic dungeons and you would get a heroic catch. So on the warrior, I did actually want to complete that by running sevens or higher. So he did do a few keys and he did also get quite a large amount of item upgrades. So let's quickly jump in and just talk about where he was and where he's at now. We started last week at 600.44 item level and we finished this week at 613.25. A significant upgrade. A lot of that actually comes from us upgrading all our gear with flight stones gilded crest rune crest whatever i had i just started upgrading all of my gear didn't matter what eye level it was if it was champion or higher i just upgraded it and then we got a few pieces so our back piece our hero track back piece came from eric Kara. we got it at when we did our seven we upgraded like i said all the other pieces we have we replaced 580 bracers with champion track 606 from the six city of threads that we ran we also got hero track shoulders in our bag we also got these hero track shoulders from the eight grim batol that we ran now i haven't catalyzed these because i'm waiting to see what we get out of vault so we did get that as well and then from our weekly quest we ended up getting the silicon advisor's favor the neck piece this was still a massive upgrade even if the stats aren't the greatest for us heavy heavy on the verse which is fine for prot warrior really verse never hurts especially when you're doing mythic and then mastery and it's at hero track so actually not bad it replaced a 587 neck piece so i'm really happy with, with how the warrior's doing he definitely feels a lot better but again i'm only running eights right but even at this item level doing eights i am just blasting through them chain pulling i really don't have many worries the amount of damage warriors do not take is significantly noticeable compared to a blood death knight where my health is just spiking all right now that is the gameplay of a blood death knight i understand and i do enjoy it that's why it is my main but it's definitely a different feeling when you play warrior quickly taking a look at some of the io we had last week we came in on the warrior i think it was around 1400 io i didn't actually document it so we had 1400 io and we are finishing the week at 1882 we got some great io upgrades we completed a seven miss which gave us 46 points we did the six city of threads which i had no score in the city of threads at all it was a blank slate so that gave us 65 points out of six we did an eight necrotic wake which gave us 35 points and because we had nothing in this key it was a blank slate we did an eight crematol which gave us 290 points so that was a big one i'm Still waiting to do the stone vault that should actually give us a 2k rating and we'll definitely aim to do that this week so the warrior came in looking hot he definitely got nice io i will easily get the 2k get the token so we can get a hero track item from getting 2k io and that should actually give us four piece on the warrior because he still doesn't have it so that's how the warrior did last week in mythic plus and i do continue to run him more all right and taking a look at the warrior he should have the two mythic dungeon vault slots available to him so we're just gonna open his i'm gonna keep it in oh it's an arm spec so that's what we're opening our loot in although it didn't open okay there it is that was really weird all right so we have hero track shoulders the nice upgrade gives us a hero track tier right so we could upgrade that and then we also have a crit haste ring really actually this is kind of nice there is heavy on the crit but i do have two hero track rings so you think because we do want upgraded tier pieces let's take the shoulders and let's canalize them and i wait wait i did get shoulders as well so we can actually take that ring all right let's do a quick sim and see which one sims better so if i replace the ring of dune algaz i will actually get a 13k dps increase so 
We're gonna take this rank because we have shoulders we can catalyze and we're gonna go put an enchant on it. That's actually really nice for the warrior. Brings our eye level up to 613.63. Not much of a gain, but a gain nonetheless. And we have an eight miss, which is a fantastic easy key to start with for the week. That's where the warrior's at. So the plan for the warrior in week six will be to probably do some more keys. Now that he is up to doing the eight range, I want to start doing eights through tens on him. See how they start feeling. See if I can bump up his item level a little closer to 625, 630 range. More so along the line of my DK and see how he feels. Maybe I'll try to get him into an alt raid or just a pug raid. See how that goes. Oh, you know, those are hit or miss. It's a lot of time spent for sometimes very little reward, especially when you're trying to roll on loot. But the warrior is feeling good. I am enjoying him and I do plan on playing him a little more. Now that he's getting into that higher key range, it's definitely a little more fun so that's you may see a little more gameplay out of the warrior and during some streams and lastly we're going to talk about the paladin this is the one that i wanted to actually play in pvp and he and we did spend a little bit of time doing some things actually one of the things i worked on is doing the tour of duty achievements so those are the ones where you just fly around collecting the war crates so i actually stuck around each zone collected enough war crates to get the tour of duty achievement so i accomplished that uh, over the week which gave me quite a bit of conquest and quite a bit of that a bit of honor so that was really cool to collect and then of course we did also do the weekly we only ran four heroics mainly because of uh well i tried to heal a two dawnbreaker and a, i think i was 580 going in that just uh my heals felt like they were doing absolutely nothing the group disbanded rightfully so i just i wasn't pulling my weight which is completely understandable so that was a little frustrating so instead we did the for heroics just so we could actually get the piece from it what we ended up getting on the paladin for our pve set was the poisoned packed ring that uh drops off queen answerak i believe so yeah we got that in our vault so let's jump in and see what we get in our uh, vault we did do four tier eight delves we have the heroics and then we also have lfr again so let's see how we did in the vault we are going to open it in holy spec because uh i still have a lot of uh, pieces of gear that i can use in holy and taking a look at what we get all right this is this is a excited we get a one-handed mace haste of versatility this would be an upgrade over what we have we have oh tier we've got tier uh hands tier hands tier hands potentially we could catalyze that just to get the pve tier uh, we also have very nice wrists that would definitely be an upgrade over what we have now from our heroic vault we have shoulders so we got hands in one shoulders in the other obviously they're a lot higher than we have the cracked eggshell which is basically one of the trinkets that are kind of useless because dells drop 616 gear and this is where you kind of get the heroic level of gear let's see what we got we have a trinket the fungal friend flute and then we also have a heroic chess piece but we already have a heroic chess piece the exact same one we had a delve that had contained a map i used the map and this is the chess piece i got so let's take a look if this trinket is useful in any way for us i mean it is a significant eye level up here so let's see if that is any good so it doesn't actually show up anywhere in any list so i think for now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the tier at least get started on our pve tier set and i'll try to maybe heal another key or two this week well like i said i will try to do it i make no promises but we do actually have these nice fancy floppy wings now Woohoo! oh my god they look so silly yeah, so that's the paladin we will see more gameplay on him this week as well and just a little bonus it's not even really a bonus i did run the four heroics on the the demon hunter i ended up getting the wings of shattered sorrow cape that i think this drops off ration on so we did get that hero track on the dh so i mean some of my characters actually got some pretty decent uh upgrades from the heroic uh, weekly and just quickly in his vault you know we'll have a couple of hero pieces and you know what because this is there's have the tier chest and then we have a non-tier chest i wonder which one we're gonna take obviously we'll take the tier chest and maybe someday we will actually play the dh a little more and gear up that tank spec you know it's coming it's coming eventually it's coming yes yeah, so this is the dh this is where he's sitting just a little bonus one and that was a recap of our week our in week five like i said it's been a quiet week this week i haven't had as much time to focus on the game which is okay i went out and i touched grass as we gamers like to say and that's exactly what i did so this week we may see a little more gameplay a little more time for me to jump it back in and start pushing on multiple characters like i said i want to get all eight tens done on my dk i want to get up to eights and tens on the warrior and then i still want to jump into the pvp world a little bit on the paladin so there's a lot of things i want to do and low-key i kind of want to try here on the paladin i said this last week and the more like i've poked away at him and played him a little bit here and there i really do want to go heal on him he feels really good i've played with really good holy paladin so that you may see a little more gameplay on that i'm really hoping you do because it is a lot of fun and so really that is it for this week it wasn't a busy week it wasn't a 
lot going on but anyway let me know down in the description how your week has been are you still enjoying the war within have you been busy what are some of the things you've accomplished in the game are you enjoying the mythic plus season are you raiding in mythic or heroic have you gotten aotc how was your vault hit me up down in the description below as always it's a pleasure talking to you guys i will be back next week until then peace out